Today we're going to be talking about a vowel. We're going to be talking about the letter A. Vowels are important because every word in our language has a vowel. Vowels can also make more than one sound. On your screen, you'll see the keyword and sound card for the letter A. This card is going to help us remember the two sounds that the letter A can make. I want you to repeat after me. A, apple, a, ah, your turn. A, acorn, a, your turn. This card tells us that the A, that A can make two sounds. A can make the a ah sound, and that's the short sound, and A can make the a sound. That's the long sound. Now I want you to turn your listening ears on. I want you to listen to some words, and you're gonna try to figure out what thou sound you hear in all of those words. I'm going to say the words slowly so that you can really hear those vowel sounds. Man, rat, mat, rag, sad. What was the vowel sound that you heard in all of those words? I heard the a ah sound in every single one of those words. Now, I'm gonna say some new words and I want you to listen very carefully. What is the vowel sound that you hear in all of those words? Rake, tame, pale, tape, base. What's the vowel sound that you hear in all of those words? I heard the A sound in all of those words. So, now we know that some words will have the A sound and some words will have the A sound. There are some marks that you can use when you're talking about sounds. This mark kind of looks like a smiley face, looks like a grin. This is called a breathe. Can you say a breathe? A breathe, when you see that, it means that the A is making a short sound, the A sound. And that's what that mark means. A is making the A sound, the short sound, and you will see that today in our sort. Now, this mark is called a macron. Can you say macron? It looks like a line. A macron tells you that the A is making the A sound, the long sound. So now we know that there are two marks that we'll see today. We'll see the breathe, telling us that A is making the A sound, the short sound, and we have the macron code, the mark, to show us that the A is making the A sound, the long sound. Here's an example of those marks. So you'll see the letter A, and I see the little smile, this sign, the breathe. This means that the A is making the A sound, like in cat. Then I see the line, the breathe, this is telling me that the A is going to be making the A sound and cake. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do a sort where you have to listen very carefully to some words and we have to decide. And those words, are we hearing the A sound? Like in cat or the A sound? Like in cake. Here is our sort. There are three groups. Just like we spoke about, the A ah sound, and you'll see the little marking above the A, the breathe, the, the little smile, meaning the A ah sound, and you'll see the, the line making the A sound, and that is called the macron, macron. And then you'll see a section called the oddball. That means that we're not hearing the a sound or the a sound. It doesn't belong in any one of those groups. All right, friends. Now, I have some pictures on the bottom. I'm going to tell you the picture, the name of the picture, and you're going to point and tell me, where does it go? Does it go with the a, like the cat, or the a sound, like in cake? The first picture is a picture of a fan. Fan. Hmm. Are you hearing the a sound? like in cat or a, like in cake, fan. I'm hearing the a ah sound in fan, like in cat. The next picture is 
nap. Are you hearing an a ah sound like in cat or a sound like in cake? Map. I'm hearing an a, ah, so I'm going to move the map to the cat where we see the a with the breathe mark, the smile to tell us all of these words are going to make the a ah sound, the short sound. Now, pig. I'm going to say the word slowly so I can hear the vowel. Pig. I hear i. But we're not even talking about the if sound today. So it's going in the oddball section. It does not belong here. Now I see plain. Plain. Hmm. Am I hearing an a? Ah? Like in cat or a, like in cake. Plain. Oh, I'm hearing the a sound. So I'm going to move it over under the cake. And I'm going to move it under the A where you see the line, the, the macron sign to tell us that this A is making the long sound, the A sound. Now I have a picture of flag. Flag. Hmm. Flag. Are you hearing the A? A? Are you not hearing any of those sounds? I'm hearing the A sound in flag. So where would I put it? Point. Hmm. Does it go with the A sound, with cake, plain, flag? No, it's making the A sound. It needs to go over here with the fan, map, flag. Now I have a picture of a frog. Where does frog belong? Does it belong with the A for cake, the A? With cat word oddball, it doesn't even belong in any of those. It doesn't belong in any of those. I'm hearing the aw sound. So we're gonna put it over here with the pig. Now we have cane. It's a candy cane. Where does cane belong? Listen to that thou sound, cane. Ooh, look what you hear after the k, k ain. I'm hearing the a sound. So hmm, does it go with the cat? A ah, or the cake A. Hmm. It's going to go with the A sound where the cake is and the plane and where we see the A with this mark on top to tell us that th these pictures are all making the A sound, the long A sound. Now I only have three more. We're almost done. I have sad. Where does that go? Sad. We hear the A. Ah. So we need to figure out what group it goes with. Ah, ah, ah. Where are all the pictures with the ah? Flag, map, cat, fan. Oh, it goes there. Then we have grape. Grape. What do you hear after the grr, that blend? Grape. I'm hearing the A sound. So it goes with the group where we see that cake, plain, cane, and grape, and we see this sign above the letter A because it's making the A sound, the long sound. And then we have one more, cat. Cat. Where was cat go? <gasps> I know where cat goes. It goes with the A, ah, where the other cat is. So today we practice listening to see, hmm, where do these pictures go? Is the word making the a ah sound or the a sound? Now, you're going to do this sort. It looks just like mine, but there are some pictures that are different. And I'm going to go over these pictures with you. So what you're going to do is the first thing you need to do is you need to cut up all of your pictures. And you're going to cut them out. After you cut them all out, you're going to cut them out into squares. Now, there's one square that you can throw away, and it's the square that I'm pointing at where there's nothing in that box. It's just empty. You're going to cut them out like I did. So see how I cut it in a square? You cut them out first. So after you've cut all of them out and you have them in a pile like me, see how I cut all mine out into squares? Then here's what you're going to do. You're going to make three groups like we did in our sort. So you're gonna find these pictures, like this one says oddball. And then you're gonna find the other one that shows the cat with the A. 
And then you're gonna find the other A that shows the cake. So here's one, see the act with the cat. So you're gonna find all those and you're gonna set it up like I did on my screen. And you're gonna sort the pictures. So you're going to have to figure out, when you say the word, are you hearing the a ah sound, like in cat, or the a ah sound, like in cake? Or do you not even hear that sound? If you don't even hear that sound, remember, it goes with the oddball group. That's why this is cut out. It means we don't hear the a ah or the a. Ah. So I'm gonna go over those pictures with you. The first picture is a skate crab, frame, map, bat, hat, sorry about that friends, hat, rain, shave, bag, snail, Foot, that's a foot. Grape, game, chain, grass, plate, flag, rake, man, snake. All right, friends, so you're gonna cut out each piece, and if you notice, I cut them out into a square, so I'm not cutting around them. So you have to cut every single piece out. And then when you're done cutting all the pieces out, you're gonna move your scissors, and there's a piece that looks like a rectangle that's blank. That means there's nothing on it. So you can throw that away, but that's it. So after you have everything cut out, you're gonna take your pictures, and make sure they're all turned the right way. And the right way is where you see the picture. And so I'm going through here and making sure that I can see all the pictures. Uh-oh, look, I have to turn that one around, turn that around, turn it around, turn it around. And these are the three things, rectangles, that I need to put to spread out. So I'm going to look for the A that has a breathe, meaning that's the ah sound. And there's a cat, so that I can remember. When I say cat, I hear the ah sound. So that's gonna be the group with the ah sound. And then I'm gonna get the one that says A, and it has a macron sound, a macron line, and that means that the A is making the A sound, like in cake. And then I'm gonna have the oddball section, which means that I don't hear the ah or the A sound, so it goes in the oddball section. So once you have your three groups, then you can start with your pictures. So what I'm gonna do, just like what we did together, is I'm gonna look at the picture. I see bag. So say it slowly so you can hear the sounds. Bag. I hear the ah. Where's the ah, 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 cat, cat? Oh, there it is, so it goes here. And then I get another picture. I see game. G A A. Where's the A? Well, here's the A like in cake. So I put the picture there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do that with all the rest of the pictures. And when you're done and you've put all the pictures where they belong, what you're going to do is you're gonna need a baggie. The reason you need a baggie is when you have sorted every single picture. So I, I couldn't do this yet because I haven't sorted all these. But if I did sort all my pictures into the three groups, then I take all of my pictures and my labels and I put them in this baggie. And then I have to make sure I put them all in there and I look, yep. Then if you can, Zip it up, so push it in, and if you can't do this, ask an adult, because you don't wanna lose any of these pieces. And then you put it somewhere safe because you're gonna need it tomorrow. All right, friends, bye.